How's it going guys? In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can perform a hot reload in flat. Because up until this point we've been rerunning our script each time we want to see the changes updated in the UI. But this can lead to a massive time loss because why are we rerunning the entire script if we're only changing maybe one parameter such as the size. If we update it to 30 why do we need to rerun our entire script just to see the changes in the UI? Well the answer is we don't and we're actually wasting a lot of time by doing this. So flat does give us the option to perform a hot reload which just updates the UI in real time. And if you come from app development or web development this concept is vital. So what we're going to do first is open up the terminal and we're going to type in flat run and we're going to give it a dash h so we can get the help because there are some flags that we can provide or actually there's a lot of flags that we can provide. First of all let's cover the positional arguments and there's only one which is the actual script that you want to run. So in general if you want to run your application you would type in flat run script.py but we also have some options because by default the hot reload is only going to work on the current script. But you might have many files that you want to update through hot reload. And in that case you're going to want to use the dash D flag or the dash R flag which stands for recursive. And what recursive does is watch the script directory and all the subdirectories recursively. Meaning that if you were to change another file inside this folder you would still be able to see those changes updated in the UI. But if you have a single script such as this one you don't need to worry about that. You can just open up the terminal and I'm going to clear it. And inside here what we're going to do is type in flat run and since my script is called hot reload I'm going to insert hot reload.py and maybe it's a better idea I actually stop the current script so that goes away. But now when we run this it's going to create a window or actually it didn't find it because I forgot to give it the folder path which in my project I called lessons. So let's actually redo that except this time I will add lessons. So make sure your path is correct. And this time it's going to create the same window. But running it through the terminal gives us the following benefits. So now I'm going to place this right here and I'm going to minimize the terminal. And watch what happens when I change this to 40. If I now save the file via command plus s it's going to reload the application in live time. And we can even change the caller if we want to something such as I don't know red. And it will update it and this is much faster. This is much more preferable. And then we can also change this application to a dark theme and as soon as we save it it's going to show those changes. So this is something I absolutely recommend you get into as early as possible when you are trying to create flat applications because seeing the UI update instantly just makes our workflow so much more convenient. But yeah that just about covers everything I wanted to cover in this video. So as always thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.